Ending 28 The Rook S Pawn Lateral Push Stalemate in the corner A Rook's Pawn cannot save the game by under-promoting to a Knight, however, the stalemate chances make up for this drawback. That causes some players to pin their drawing hopes on the Rook's Pawn, but that is a mistake. Rook H8 B8 King b2 a1. The king hides behind the pawn and is stalemated, therefore, there is no time for the white king to approach the pawn, and it is a draw. It would also be a draw with any other pawn. With any other pawn, 1. Sent a 3. Would be the right square to draw, but here the edge of the board hinders promotion, 2 sent 2, plus no matter what black promotes to, white will capture it. King d2 c2 is stalemate. Rook b8 a8. King a1 b2. Rook a8 b8. King b2 a1. Rook b8 c8. King a1 b2. Let us now see what happens with the lateral push if we move both kings and the pawn one rank up. Position 5.14 The Extreme Position In a Rook vs Rook's Pawn ending, this is a key position you have to learn by heart. Most positions with no clear winner end up in this situation during analysis. This an extreme position because, with black to move, it is a draw, whereas white wins if he has the move, with simply b8. Moreover, as shown in the following series of twin diagrams, things change if we move the pieces one rank up or down. It does not matter where the white rook is, the exception is the b8 square. King b3 b2. Avoiding the push. Position 5.14. The extreme position. In a rook vs rook's pawn ending, this is a key position you have to learn by heart. Most positions with no clear winner end up in this situation during analysis. This an extreme position because, with black to move, it is a draw, whereas white wins if he has the move, with simply b8. Moreover, as shown in the following series of twin diagrams, things change if we move the pieces one rank up or down. It does not matter where the white rook is, the exception is the b8 square. a3 a2 Rook h8 b8. King b3 a3. King d3 c2. And wins because a knight in the corner is always lost. a2 a1. King c2 c3. King a4 Rook a8 Rook captures a1 
King C5. Rook A5. King D3 D2. A3 A2. Ending 28. Rook H8 B8. King B2 A1. Stalemate motifs. Rook H8 H2. King B2 B3. Typical, when the rook is misplaced, not ready to check from the file, the best policy is to obstruct the enemy king. 2, sent b1, 3 sent c3 plus dash, 2, sent c1 3 sent c3, king b2 b3, typical, when the rook is misplaced, not ready to check from the file, the best policy is to obstruct the enemy king, 2, sent b1, 3 sent c3 plus dash, 2, sent c1 3 sent c3, King b2 c1. Since there is no time to prepare a stalemate, obstructing the pawn is pointless. Rook b8 a8. King c1 b2. King d3 c3. a3 a2. Rook b8 a8. King c1 b1. Rook a8 b8. But now, King B1 A1 fails to Rook B8 F8 and mate. Rook A8 B8 King B1 C1 Beware of overconfidence in stalemate that would work with the white king on D2. Conclusion the rook's pawn is not worse than the others against the lateral king push, thanks to stalemate chances.